And we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a binocular effect. Got a simple clip, you will find that in the description below. First thing that we need is a black video, so right click in the project menu, new item, black video. By default it has the same size as my sequence. In this case for you the video is 90, 20 times 1080. I click on OK and drag it in my timeline. Now we size it so that it has the same duration as your video. And now type in circle into your effects menu. It should be under video effects obsolete. Drag and drop it on a black video. If you can't find this menu, go to window, there's the effects and we also need the effect controls now. So click on that as well if you don't see it. Make sure you've got the black video selected. If you select the footage below, you won't find the circle. So the black video is what we need. Go to the circle and change the radius to something that fits your screen size. In my case, maybe 500 should be good. Just open the drop down and feather the outer edge. In this case, a value like 40 or 50 should be fine. It depends a little bit on the radius. Use a value that fits for you and we want to change the blending mode. Just select add in the drop down. Let me close this one. I right click on it and copy it and then right click and paste so that I have a second circle created. Now it's all about finding a good position. So both have 960 for the horizontal position. Let me try 560, so I go 400 down. That means for the other circle, I need to go 400 up, which is 1360. Obviously, you could also just click and then drag to reposition that manually like this. If you don't want to have it in center, that's a good idea, but you could also just use math like I did here. Last step is to go to the opacity, so it's the opacity of the black video element and then change the blending mode to multiply. And this is how you can create this binocular effect in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.